ready so I got the body all prepped it is still drying a bit so I'm gonna let it dry while I work on the arms a bit here here with the finished arms well not finished but finished the initial sculpting I still have to do the armor on them but um, as you can see obviously still a little bit of the you know original figure showing through here I didn't completely sculpt at all with the green stuff uh, mainly because you know we still don't want that joint rub and everything and like I said I just like using the dyed color as a base just in case it gets damaged uh, we've got that darker color underneath to kind of hopefully show a little bit less so got these to a point where i'm going to uh, actually paint this one before i sculpt the uh, armor on top of that as you can see she has this kind of golden armor here it's going to be done in three layers so i'll do the first one let it dry second and third um, most likely going to use the aves epoxy for this the thing i really like about aves is um, you can take a hair dryer to it um, but I usually do about five minutes or so and then um, just kind of leave it be and don't disturb it because it's kind of very fragile in the uh, time that it's drying but basically once that cools down it will almost harden right away I've never noticed any cracking or anything any different than actually letting it air dry uh, which kind of allows you to work quickly which is awesome and the thing I like about Aves as well is that it's really light so once you get, once it dries it's very durable i would say just as durable as milliput if not you know more but at the same time too quite a bit lighter so it allows you to do more sculpting on the figure without worrying about certain parts of it being heavier <music>
right, so after a little bit of taking care of the kiddos and getting this sculpted here, this is kind of what we're looking at. So turned out pretty good. I quite happy with it. There's a couple high points here and there that I'll probably need to sand down, but not a big deal. But all around, it kind of turned out how I wanted. Um, I was kind of looking at this, you know, kind of looking at the picture of her. It seems like it's one piece of armor. It's not really meant to bend as two, but I think it looks kind of funky. So what I'm probably going to do is cut this along the knee line. Ended up with a nice little groove back there, if you can see that. Um, where it's going to fit right under the knee, so I should be able to super glue it on there. Um, I'll probably put a little peg or something in there to try to keep it, you know, from just coming off, from bending and whatnot. But even though it doesn't look like her actual armor piece would bend in real life, I think it's just going to look better for the figure's sake to actually have it, this piece on the knee when it bends. So I'm going to follow the steps for the second leg. Here, I was actually away from home for a while and did not bring the camera, so I got quite a bit done since the last time I filmed. But anyway, did both of the um, leg armors and kind of, like I said, cut the knees because it just didn't look right to have it not bend, but um, turned out pretty well. I'm a little bit nervous. I did just super glue it. I'm hoping they stay pretty well, but seem pretty sturdy. Got that full range of motion, doesn't look like anything's rubbing, so this should turn out pretty good once they're painted. Um, chest piece, what a pain. Trying to do all these, you know, squares over, you know, something that is dimensional. Um, still working on it a little bit, kind of got um, a little bit weird on the sides of the breasts here, so I'm hoping to maybe just scrape some of those off and redo. This one here is not too bad. But um, this one here just kind of ended up not to my liking, so I might undo those. But um, almost there, though, with the chest piece, just got a little bit on the sides to do, and then obviously the parts that I need to fix as well. And I'll be moving on to um, what I think I'm going to do is put the magnets into her back, and then I'm going to sculpt the um, shoulder piece over just a real, real thin layer of Procreate. And obviously having that procreate, as I mentioned before, since it's more flexible going over the shoulders. So when the arms bend, it will have a little bit of give and hopefully not rub paint. So that's where we're at. Um, it is October 3rd. So I'm starting to stress a little bit because I feel like I'm behind. But hopefully we get where we need to get pretty soon. So we will see you once we do a little bit more. Alrighty, I'm back. So a little bit of work, a little bit of a pain in the ass, but um, got it to a pretty good point here. As you can see, I have gotten the magnets into the back. So in theory, you know, if we were to put this over and glue it down, they should hide pretty well. Um, only thing is, this is just a little bit thicker. I don't want to cover up that double layer of armor that I already sculpted um, on her. So I will figure it out, but the body's almost there, minus a little bit of painting, as you can see, I've kind of had to smooth out some areas, so I'll give her another coat of black and everything, but once we get the silver done on the legs and the armor up top, I'll be able to do like the rope-like leather strap she has on the legs, and the actual body is almost done. So, I've um, been working on the wings a bit, so uh, this is kind of one of the most stressful things that I've seen so far. Um, with this figure, but basically once again, these were actually a mold and a cast that uh, turned out pretty decently as you can see there's kind of a couple little flaws which I will You know uh, buff out and whatnot and try to make look as best as I can but ultimately what I did was Just use magnets to put them together. I was trying to figure out what I could do to make them work, but works pretty damn good that way so as you can see, I move up and down. I might have mentioned this in previous video. I know it's been a while since I filmed, so I might have already shown you these, but one thing that is new that I know I haven't shown you yet is how I figured out to actually have that movable joint back here. So you can see where I sculpted the new feathers on, and then I actually have a moving joint here. So it can go, whoa, extreme close up, whoa! Um, the way I wanted it to basically side to side and then it should turn 
and obviously the wing itself is going to go as well. Um, the only thing I'm running into now, which I knew that I probably would, is the weight of the wing versus the actual figure now. So um, once I put it on, you can see it goes down. So my hope is, is that once I have the armor on there and the other piece, they're going to butt up together and hopefully they won't fall down when that happens. But what is nice about it is it seems to want to stay in certain positions. Um, I think it ultimately looks really badass. These are going to be gold. Um, got some gold airbrush paint, so I've got a technique I'm going to try to really bring out all the detail on these wings as well. But ultimately, I will figure out how to get them to stay. Even if I have to tear out these and put in you know, more powerful magnets, I will do so. But quite happy with how they're turning out. It is definitely making her a little bit top heavy, so I'm probably going to have to include a stand with her. Um, once I ship the figure out just so she can uh, display as well because quite a bit going on on the top not much on the bottom so um, that's where I'm at what I wanted to kind of show you how I got to this point this is obviously all just primed um, in order to get this joint here what I did was I bought a Lady Deathstrike figure of the Toy Biz line at the flea market a couple years ago it's just basically knowing i would use it for something eventually so here's that something so what i did was remove the hand from the arm as you can see um with this you can kind of see the remnants of the other part of the hand um that i used for this joint here to make it go left and right so once again what i'll do is i'll obviously cut the fingers off and then um when i go to attach it to the actual wing what I did was basically trace the shape once I had the fingers cut off onto the wing cut out this part and then dremeled it out to where it was just really thin and the piece fit in there nice and tight and then what I did is super glued that and then as you can see on the other one like I mentioned before ah god damn magnets basically sculpted those feathers right over where it was so as you can obviously see there's a little bit of difference in the two of them what I may do is either sand these down a bit or basically take that sculpt and uh, feather it out into the rest of the uh, wing there <laughs> feather no pun intended swear to God but anyway um, that's where we're at with this so I just wanted to kind of show you how I got to that point um, because I basically racked my head over it a bunch, looked through all the fodder I had and everything, and I finally just looked at uh, Lady Deathstrike's hands there, and it just jumped out at me. And so, as you can see, they kind of have almost a feather-like texture anyway. Um, just kind of really blends in real well with what's there already. So, I'll basically get those done. Going to get the um, armor sculpted, and then I was toying around. What the hell is up with me and all these puns today? Torian, <laughs> So, um, messing with the braid a bit, um, new technique that I was trying with this one, what I'm going to do is do three individual pieces, but this once again is just dyed um, green stuff, so it is now black stuff, but what I did was just kind of use some leftover from when I was sculpting these straps on the arm just to kind of experiment with, but um, took the piece ultimately that was loose, and instead of actually sculpting lines into it, I twisted it, and as I twisted it, it naturally put lines in the hair. So what I'm going to probably do is do three giant ones of those because she has quite a bit of hair, um, got quite a big mop on top. So um, what I will do is get all three of those sculpted and then start working it into the head like I did here. And then what I'm going to do is braid those three to hopefully give her a really, you know, uh, full braid 